And before we head over to GMA3, here's some top stories we're following. President Biden addressing the nation this morning. For the first time since Donald Trump defeated Vice President Kamala Harris, the 2024 president election. Biden said he spoke with President-elect Trump yesterday to congratulate him on his victory and to assure Trump he will ensure a peaceful and orderly transition of power. Biden also told Americans, quote, you can't love your country only when you win. Police are searching for a suspected gunman in Central Park after a man was shot on the Upper West Side. It happened just before 9.30 this morning at 69th and Columbus Avenue. The 47-year-old victim hit in the leg and shoulder. Uh, another man who fled down the street towards Central Park. Police believe the suspect ran into the subway first at 72nd Street and Central Park West which then led to train evacuations and a pursuit underground. And firefighters making some progress battling a wildfire in Jackson Township in Ocean County. This is in New Jersey, of course. Some homes had to briefly be evacuated, but residents were allowed back in this morning. The fire is in the Collier's Mills Wildlife Management Area. It has torched some 300 acres and has been burning since yesterday afternoon. Brittany, just like you warn everybody with the dry temperature, this is what we've got to worry about. Yeah, and fire danger, danger is high today through tomorrow because of the combination of gusty winds and dropping humidity. Even right now, we have northwest winds gusting up to 25 to 30 miles per hour. And for the rest of this afternoon, mainly dry and sunny, temperatures staying above average, reaching the low to mid-70s, topping out near 74 in the city. Now, tonight, it does turn chilly in some areas. We'll see the 30s and the 40s outside of the city, the 50s and the suburbs with clear skies. And tomorrow, 68 degrees. So even though that's cooler, it's still above normal. And we keep a strong west breeze up to 30 miles per hour. Fire danger goes down this weekend on Saturday, mostly sunny, cooler 55. And then Sunday, clouds increase. We'll have a chance for rain Sunday night into early Monday morning. Showers clear the second half of Monday. And we'll keep temperatures in the 60s Monday and Tuesday by Wednesday, cooling down to 53 degrees. All right, we appreciate that uh, Veterans Day parade. Looks like we're <laughs> sneaking in there with a little bit of rain. Mm -hmm. That's going to do it for this edition of Eyewitness News. I'm David Navarro. I'm Sam for Bookman, for Brittany, and the entire Eyewitness News team. Thanks for watching, and make sure you're back this afternoon for Eyewitness News, first at four.